Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is a weekly reading and it's going to range from the 15th of August all the way until the 22nd of August. That being said, this here is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels good with you, and the rest of it just put it aside. If it does not fit with your situation, most likely it is not meant for you. That being said, if ever you're looking for some clarity, for some guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the information on uh, the different types of readings that I can offer you. That being said, if you look at the bottom of the uh, of the video here into the YouTube drop box, you will find the list of the readings that I do offer, the price list, and how to go upon booking one. So please do review that and if you um, have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel, you do enjoy the messages, please do click the subscribe button to show your support, to show your encouragement to the channel and to myself. Very important. So please do subscribe and let's begin this reading. I have not told you yet, this reading is for the sign of Gemini. So I'm using the uh, fairy tale, uh, fairy tarot, that's not the same thing. I have the five of hearts, I have the moon, I have the lovers, I have the um, knave of leaves, I have the uh, ace of acorns, I have the queen of leaves, and I have the ten of bells. Okay, this week is all about love, okay? Um, I'm going to begin by telling you what I see at first here, which is really catching my eye. Um, I have here the couple, okay? I have the knave and I have the queen. So I am going to begin by speaking to you about these two personalities that are right there. Now, the queen is really all about, um, it's, she's kind of like in melancholy, if we can say here, okay? So this card really shows somebody who's kind of lonely, who doesn't, um, as lonely and who ha kind of has a difficult, um, character. I don't know if this is true in the relationship here, um, if this is a, a, a man and a woman in the relationship. The woman here kind of has a difficult um, character. Uh, that being said, uh, this card here is really about um, the female here not getting what she wants out of the relationship. This is a sadness because we don't really know what's going to go on. We don't really know what's going to come up into the future and this creates us a problem. We need to know, okay, the queen here needs to know what is going on. What is the next step? Is it moving together? Is it getting married? Or is it getting engaged? Is it having children? Is it getting a dog, a cat? What is the next stage of your relationship? This is really kind of feeling down, kind of sad, because you do not know what's coming up. You do not know the future, and your your partner here, the uh, page, has not told you, because your partner is a page. They are not at the same level as you are. They are emotionally a little bit lower. They're not quite ready for the same type of relationship. That being said, they are happy in the relationship, but they're not as advanced. They don't want as much as you do right now. They're more looking into the everyday, what's going on right now. That being said, what problems me here is the message that I'm getting from the knave. Now, I keep getting from this knave here that there's somebody around. I, I feel as though you need to poke around a little bit. You need to look to see what's going on. I feel as though there's somebody around, the male figure of this relationship, who is... Um, there's somebody who wants into your relationship, okay? Basically, when there's going to be a fight or, you know, they're going to step in right away because they want to be the first ones there. If ever there's a breakup, they're the ones who want to replace you, okay? Um, so this is really what's going on. There really is somebody who is around who should not be there. And they keep kind of, you know, um, getting into places where they don't want to be. They keep putting to, they keep uh, infiltrating themselves, if you want, as a polite way to get into your relationship. So you do need to be careful of the surroundings for this person because three people is just not enough. That, uh, not, I'm sorry, it's just too much, okay? You can't have a third person mingling into your relationship at all times. It is just not good. It is unhealthy. And this person does not have your best interest at heart. So do be very, very careful about that. That being said, there are choices to be made, but we're going to go over here first, okay? So we're going to start with the five of hearts here. And this is really about... Um, it reminds, this is a card that I'm getting as a message that needs to remind you to put 
your efforts, okay, wherever you put your efforts in your life has a great deal to do with the quality of your life and how it's going to work for you. Therefore, if you want to have more love into your relationship, try and give more love. More understanding, same thing. More communication, same thing. So this is really about everything that you put as work into your relationship, you're going to get back, but you need to put it in first. So you need to do that effort. You need to make that extra step is what I'm getting. Then I have the moon card and the moon over here is really about repressed emotions. So this is it again. We keep coming back to um, a little bit of fear. There's a little bit of anxiety coming from this person down here, okay? And this is really taking a deeper look. You need to take a deeper look because there's something strange going on down here and it's creating some, um, some fear and some anxiety into you. And this is really about trying to, um, trying to find out what it is and it's really about repressed emotions. It's somebody in this relationship is just not saying everything they have to say. The clarity is not there. So if you do want to, um, you if it is you, you need to release it, okay? Because you're going to get caught. This is just going to, when you're not expecting it, at some point, these, um, these emotions that you're not uh, expressing are just going to explode, okay? And it's just going to attack you at a time that you do not want it. So you really do need to communicate it. It is not healthy at all. And then I have over here the choice, you know, in love, we always do have choices. That being said, um, this is really about uh, a choice that you need to make into your relationship right now um, to have an open communication, to have honesty, okay? Very important because as I said, there's a lack of communication over here, which is creating some problems and probably down here also, okay? So be very, very careful about that. Try and make a pact, try and make a, um, a resolution with your partner to always be honest, to try and have an open communication. And you know, your, your feelings are going to be nourished by that and your um, your relationship is just going to go uh, forward. It's just going to move forward onto a more of a beautiful journey. That being said, I do have also the Ten of Bells and the Ten of Bells is really about two people in a relationship because, you know, you really do have a strong bond. This is really a good omen. It's uh, things that are being met. It's um, emotions also. This is things that are going quite well for you on your journey. You are exactly where you should be. Okay. And then I also have the ace over here, which is all about your future also, who's really denoting that, you know what, you do have a nice future with this person. You do have to put the effort into it though. But if you put the effort into it, you know, there's going to be romance. There's going to be a lot of of uh, positivity. And this is really about the ambition and taking action into the relationship. <clears throat> so this does conclude your weekly reading. I do hope that I was able to give you um, some clues onto what is going to happen. All in all, if you really want a really quick recap, because you know, I do talk a lot, you do have to be careful for communication, honesty, okay, expressed emotions, don't keep that all in, don't keep it all bottled up. And you do need to be careful for that person who's mingling around. You do need to get that person out of the picture or at, at some point, okay? So I do wish you a fantastic week. If you do have any questions, you want some guidance, please do contact me at romancevoltarot at gmail.com. Um, if you have subscribed to the channel, I thank you. And you'll be receiving my, um, my readings that I do throughout the week. I have daily snapshots every day and I have one reading with a different subject every day. So that being said, have a fantastic week. Thank you for being there and many blessings to you.